We're going to be doing this transition today. Very simple, straightforward stuff. Let's get to it. Open media pool. Let's put in this two footage. There's a picture, so we don't have to create handle for the wipe. You can just put the wipe in the middle. It will, it will fit in. Click on effects under video transition. Scroll down to fusion transitions. And then pick cross dissolve. Drag that in the middle there, click on it. Let's make the duration of two seconds. And then let's open it in Fusion. Okay, drag that media out, out, disconnect that, click on cross dissolve, delete it. Let's pull media into down, make some space there. Let's bring in a fast noise node. Let's bring in a control space bar or shift space bar. Let's bring in a displace node and after that let's bring in a matte control node okay like so let's bring in a rectangular mask node here let's connect this to the yellow input of the displays for the rectangular mask we go to the inspector let's drag this to the viewer we increase the width of the rectangular mask to one then we increase the height to one, two. And we go to the fast noise connected to the green input of the displays. Now for the fast noise, the settings for the fast noise, we go to color tab, increase the alpha of color one to one, go to noise, set um, contrast to 2.5, set scale to 10, the C3, let's set it to 0 0.5. Drag that to the viewer, we have something like that. If we drag this display to the viewer, see nothing really is happening. But I want this to move from this point off the screen like so. To get that to happen, I right click on center, modify with vector result, click on modifiers, and right click on distance, modify with anim curves. I set the curve to easing, easing to sign and ease out to sign, then I leave the scale and offset to one zero, then I set this time scale to 1.1. So if we go, let me see, go across the screen as we scroll across the timeline there. Let's go to displace, go to the type XY, and then for X refraction, we just drag that down to 0 0.1. So when we play this out, we see this triangle, this rectangle mask wipe off like so. But you see at the end, it just cancel kind of cuts off. To eliminate that, I'm going to bring in a transform node, connect this to the transform node, increase the size of the transform to 2.1. The reason why I did this, if I zoom out of this bit, go to fit, go to like 25, I want a situation where I can rotate this and it won't cut off the at the edge here. So I drag this to the viewer, See, when I rotate that, this edge doesn't touch. I can rotate the wipe however I want. That's why it increases to 2.1. Double click on angle to reset that. And then also that cut, that cut thing at the end of it we, we goes away. If we play it back right now, you see that um, the play just rolls off correctly. Cool. Moving on. Now connect. Right click on this, drop this on mat control, connect it to garbage mat. The media in one, connect that to the yellow input of the map control. Track this match control to the viewer. Let's click to fit. And let's go to the middle point. So for the mat control, I go to garbage mat and I click on invert. So it, it cuts off the right point we want it to cut off. If we make it a dual viewer, you'll see that if I drag this, so if we drag this to the left viewer, we want this white part to be what is showing, which is what is showing on this and hence the taking the invert. Moving on, let's make it a single viewer again, just to show you a point there. Let's drag this to the viewer. Now let's bring in a an erode dilate node. Connect this to the erode dilate, bring in a blur node, connect this to the blur node. For the erode dilate, I'll drag the amount to minus 0.01. For the blur node, I'll set the blur size to 10. Let's drag this up a bit. Bring in a merge node. 
connect this to the yellow input. That's the background of the merge and connect this transform to the foreground. For this merge, I go to operator and I click on held out. If I click this out, we see we have this edge. Bring in another matte control. Matte control. Right click on this, drop this here and make it a garbage mat. And for the matte control, we go again to the garbage mat and click invert and connect the output of this matte control to input of this matte control. So we have this here. But I want to now brighten this a little. So I'm going to bring shift space, but I'm going to bring a glow node. And I'm going to bring shift space, but I'm going to bring a color curves node. This add that here. I'm going to connect this to the glow node and connect the smart control to the color curves. For the color curves, I just go to this point, drag this handle up a bit like so. Click on the other point, drag this handle up a bit like so. Then for the glow node, I just drop the glow size to zero. And I bring in a merge node. Connect this to the merge node and connect this to the merge node. Drag to the view out if you have that, but I want the merge node to now go on the apply mode. I want to go to lighter color. So we have this. We now want to merge this on top of, let's make it a dual viewer. I want to merge this on top of this. I'm going to fit this. So it's the same side. So I'm going to go and bring in a merge node. I put this on top as a foreground. Then I'm going to bring this, put it on the background. And to pull this here, we have that edge. See, so it looks a bit like water at the edge there. Cool. Then we drag this down, bring in a merge node. Connect this to the foreground, connect this to the background, and then bring in the media out, connect this to the media out. I'm going to drag this to the right viewer, make it a single viewer, and it's played back. And that there is our transition. The beautiful thing about what we've done now is this. If I go to the middle here, this transform that I've set up, I can change the angle of this wipe at any point. Go to the beginning, and let's play it. So it wipes at that angle. So I provided the transition for you to download freely and use as you wish. Have fun with it. Thanks for joining me on this one and see you on the next one. Take care.